Hey, I'm Lucas Feldman and this is IXO. Welcome to IXO. IXO is a place to find answers to all the odd questions you've always wanted to know. June 21st marked the beginning of summer and the longest day of the year for the Northern Hemisphere. In my opinion, the best part of summer is being able to enjoy time with your friends. There's swimming, campfires, summer dresses, and the best part is you can get all three simultaneously if you wear a swimsuit under your dress. But that's enough about me and my hobbies. In your opinion, what's the best part of summer? Did most of you say something that involved the sun? Well, it makes a lot of sense. Exposure to sunlight leads to increased serotonin production in the brain. Serotonin is a happiness hormone that helps to lighten our moods. It chemically makes us happy, so it's no surprise why so many of us worship the sun. Actually, in many older cultures, some of us used to praise the sun as if it were a god. Today, we understand the sun is perhaps the most vital part of life on this planet. Vita is the Latin word for life, and from it we get words like vitamin, amine because we initially thought vitamins to contain amino acids. But what exactly is a vitamin? Let's see what people think. A vitamin is a supplement that you take because you have a deficiency. Vitamins are essential materials that we can't synthesize within our own bodies, with one exception. The way I like to think about what vitamins are is to think of our bodies as if they were machines. Sericana. But rather than compare it to something as complex as artificial intelligence, Frackin toasters. I will compare it to a car. There are some things that your body can make for itself, like a car's alternator can charge its battery. There are also important parts that the car can't make, like gas and oil. Gas and oil are essential to keep a car running in the same way that vitamins are vital to humans. In fact, humans are much more complex. We need 13 different vitamins on a regular basis just to keep our bodies working correctly. Humans also have one special vitamin that they don't need to get from food, vitamin D. We can get our vitamin D from the sun god, but where's the vitamin before it gets in our bodies? Is it in the sunlight? If it's in our bodies all along, then why is the sun a key factor? It's absorbed through your skin. So, and then it goes into your blood. <laughs> okay, is, also, is it in the sunlight? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think, yeah. <laughs> Maybe? In fact, it is in our bodies the whole time. Vitamin D3, or cholecalciferol, exists in our skin, but it's inactive. It must be converted into an active form before it's usable by our body. That's where good guy sun god comes into play. He teams up with the skin god and politely irradiates your skin, bombarding it with UVB radiation, allowing for cholecalciferol to be converted to its active form. We can also get vitamin D3 from food, which is the number one way for people on Reddit and YouTube. And sorry modest nudist, but even sitting stark naked by the window won't cut it. Since windows absorb the UVB radiation you'll need for the production of the vitamin, so you'll have to go full Monty and go outside and get some sun on your full Monty. Sunscreen and clothes block radiation, and even our own skin makes it tough sometimes. Those with darker skin tones or folks that are older will have a tougher time getting what they need from the sun. Darker skin has melanin, which also absorbs UVB radiation, so there's less available for vitamin production. Older folks have thinner skin, so there's less inactive D3 to be converted to its active form. That being said, given the right conditions, most humans will still produce vitamin D. So the next time someone's rude to you when you're out in the sun this summer, you can call them a D-bag and skip merrily away admiring the pun you just made. Those that enjoy outdoor activities have to be a bit careful too, since that good guy sun god doesn't always get along with the skin god, and they can become a cancer god if you overindulge in the D. Vitamin D is one of the four fat-soluble vitamins. The others are A, E, and K, meaning it's stored in your fat. A downside to a fat-soluble vitamin is that they can build up and lead to an overdose much easier than the water-soluble counterparts. This process is called hypervitaminosis. So why then don't people risking skin cancer, spending all their time outside, overdose on vitamin D? So, because your body has a little capsule. Yes, but that's not okay. Alright, is there something guess? in the vitamins? It's because as vitamin D is synthesized, it also releases another compound called lumistrol that absorbs UVB radiation. So the longer we spend in the sun, the less vitamin D we get per minute. You can call it a decreasing curve. These days, deficiency is more of a problem than overdose. Larger cities have it worse, especially those in the north. In the winter, 
The production of vitamin D in the skin drops dramatically for cities in colder climates. Pollution also plays a role, so even if the sun is out, you may not get as much vitamin D in Los Angeles as you would in, say, the Mojave Desert. Vitamin D also helps us better absorb calcium, so it helps us grow strong bones. The more D you get, the better your bones will be, which is why it follows that a lack of D can lead to low standards, I mean, weak bones, and also lead to diseases like rickets in kids and osteoporosis in adults. So remember, make sure you help your friends get the D that they need. Did I phrase that right? If I got something wrong, let me know in those comments. My sources are in the notes in case you want to read more about vitamin D. If you liked what you heard and would like to hear other random information, click that like and subscribe button and maybe click that share button too. Remember to tell me what your favorite part about summer is. If you have any ideas for topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in those comments down below and maybe I'll look it up. I'm Lucas Feldman, this is IXO, and I'll see you next time.